So this one is kind of building on our previous animation example that we did. So if you haven't checked that video out, check it out because we might go a little bit quick um, through the animation piece of this. But the point of this one is I want to have some vertical moving platforms that go up and down for my character and like a 2D platformer to, um, to jump across. And um, we don't want to recreate these every time. So we're going to use prefabs to do that. And I think this will be a good example to show um, how to use prefabs. Now, um, keep in mind the very first time that I do this, it's not going to work, and that's on purpose. Um, and I think it's it's worthwhile to watch. It's not going to take it'll take me a minute or two before I mess up, and, and then we'll do it correctly. Um, but I think it's worthwhile to watch the mistake because then you'll really understand what's happening. So I'm creating a new um, uh, project. It's 2D. I call it Prefabs and Platforms. We're not going to bring anything into it. Here's some old code left over, but uh, we'll just leave that up. That's from our button example. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm going to drag in a platform. Let's see if I can find one that we can stand on. <clears throat> These are going to be from uh, Glitch the Game. So if you don't have those assets, I suggest you go download them. Um, they are very useful. Okay, whoops. Let me get my project tab open. And where'd it go? And, oh, there it is. And I'll drag this thing in here. This will be our little um, platform that we want to make go up and down and have somebody stand on it. Um, I'm going to add to this thing. Let's just call it platform. I'll rename it first. Um, and then I'm going to add to this a box collider. Um, just so that later on we can stand on it. Um, it's not, not really the best. Uh, I'm going to adjust these box collider dimensions here just a little bit. And that should be that should be close enough. Uh, we can worry about making the colliders better later. This isn't really a colliders example, but I wanted to have something um, that worked out pretty good. Okay, so I want this thing to move up and down, and I want to have like three of them moving up and down on the screen. That's that's kind of the goal of this thing, um, and we want to do it using prefabs because with prefabs, if we can have three, then we can have three thousand. It doesn't matter. It's really easy to um, to start placing prefabs. Um, but let's get this thing animating real quick. We have um, our platform. We're going to create an animation. Platform, vertical. Vertical platform. Um, here's where we start. And then I'll move my timeline. And again, I, I did talk about this stuff a little bit more um, in a different video, so if you want to get into some of the details about how these animations work, you can check out that video. And then at two seconds, um, I want to paste it back. And so if we hit play, there it goes. Up and down and up and down. Um, ooh, ugly blue. I hate that blue color. I'm going to change it. So I selected my camera, and I went over here to the background and changed it to white because I hate that color. All right, so now we have our um, our platform. It goes up and down, and that looks good. Um, one thing that we can do now is create a prefab of this thing and make multiple instances of it because we want to have multiples of these things going up and down. So if I drag this, whoops. If I drag our platform over here in the hierarchy, if I drag it down, it's going to create a prefab. And the prefab is going to contain all of the same stuff that this has, including an animator, um, box collider, all that sorts of stuff. So now, instead of dragging this, which is just the sprite into our scene, if I drag this, I get all the stuff with it. I get the animator, I get the box collider, I get all of that. Um, and so this is pretty cool, right? It should work. This thing goes up and down. We did the animation. This thing is going to go up and down. Let's see what happens. And what happens is our second platform disappears. Now if I'm going to click on my scene tab, where the heck is it? Is it way out in space? No. Um, if you see what's happening, though, they're both exactly on the same, they're on top of each other. And the reason is because our animation um, uh, is kind of like an absolute position. So when we run this animation on this guy, it's going to jump to all the positions listed out in this window. So we don't want that. We want it to be kind of relative to where we place it. And so this is the big mistake that I was going to make. And it took me almost five minutes. I said two minutes. Sorry about that. So <laughs> now, 
now we will fix it. Now let's do it right. But I just wanted to, you to see the reason why we're going to do what we're going to do next because um, the animations that we've built in here are all absolute positions, and that's not what you want when you want to make multiples of these things. All right, so I am going to just start deleting everything that we've got here. Delete all these. I'm going to delete all these animations and prefabs. Delete all those. Delete them. Okay, let's start over again. Forget all that happened, and now let's do it correctly. We'll drag this into our scene. Rename it pre platform. Actually. Um, and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put this platform inside of an empty game object. So create empty. And we can just call this thing platform parent. And we will drag our platform on top of it. So now notice how this is kind of a child of this platform parent. And now what's going to happen is these coordinates over here are all relative to the location of this platform parent. And now when we do our animations, they will all be um, relative to this. And then we'll be able to place the parents around and everything will work out OK. So let's go back to our animation. There is no animation of this thing, so we will cre create one. Platform animation. Um, and we're just going to do the same thing we did before. I'll move this thing out to one second. And in a second, we will make it oops, appear. That's good. And then at two seconds, we will put it here. And now if I hit play, it's going up and down. And that's good. Um, we also wanted to add a box collider to this thing just because we had one so we can see this whole thing is working together and now when we hit play if I go back to my scene view you see that the box collider is actually moving up and down with it so that's what we want um, and remember we've got it as a child of this parent that is not moving this thing is not moving at all if you look at its location over here on the right it's not moving if you look at this guy's location it's moving um, relative to the parent. So that's what we're going to move down here as our prefab. I grab the platform parent. Okay, not the platform, the platform parent. Now I can put a platform parent over here and if we hit play, now we'll have two platforms going up and down. All right, so the important thing to note is when you're using this animation, um, all the properties that you're setting are, you know, they're either global in the big space if the object doesn't have a parent or they're um, relative to the parent and so you have to keep that in mind otherwise everything is going to stack on top of each other when you're doing different things so um, that is what I wanted to show you for prefabs and parents and platforms for three P's and uh, hopefully that was useful